it's Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons. And today I'm going to show you how to make an out of this world frame. So to start with, I'm going to show you how to make the frame. We've done this before, but we're going to do it again just to make sure it sinks in. I don't know. So what I have here is I have two knot lamps. Any floor lamp will do. However, if you are doing this outside, you don't want to use floor lamps, you want to use something sturdier, like go and check out my column frame video and figure out how to make your own base plate and, and pull with a good two by two uh, footprint. These ones have a very small footprint and um, if there's any wind, it can easily come down. And the other thing that you can do, if you really want to have it on these kind of bases, is you can put a sandbag. So normally I would make this higher, okay? So I have five pole sections here, I think. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, I have five pole sections. Normally I would make it six, but because of the, because I'm short and the camera angles, um, we're just doing it at five just for the demonstration. So normally you would probably want to make it higher because you would want to think that maybe people want to take their picture that are six feet tall or something like that. All right, so the other thing that we have here is we have some PVC. So I've got, basically I went to the hardware store and PVC comes in a 10 foot length and I said, let me have one of those pieces of PVC and cut it in half for me. And they did. And so now I have two five foot pieces of PVC. And then I have two elbow connectors. Now this one's already taped down on here because I use this frame all the time. So I don't know if you can kind of see how it's going like that. That's a little elbow connector. And this is, I'm pretty sure that this is half inch PVC here. Yeah, it is half inch schedule 40 white PVC. Okay, so I've got an elbow connector on each one. They're like taped down, like really taped the heck out of it. And then on the other piece of the PVC, I have, hey, I can see you. I have um, a T connector. And so you see, I've taped that down. Okay, so the first thing I would do, I have a fantastic Helper here, Darren Sari is here all the way from wherever he lives to come and help me. Yeah, you're correct. All right, so hold that for a second. All right, so first thing that we're gonna do is we gotta kinda slide this guy down, yeah, and grab the tape. And we're just gonna use clear packing tape. And so since the pole is five, is the PVC is five feet, and I think we're gonna make this kind of a low one. So now here's the thing. We wanna tape, um, if you'll tape it, you always wanna tape it on an angle, not just going around straight. So probably, here we go, yep, down like that, good. And then you, because if you just do it straight, then it can come off. You always want to do the bottom one first, because that's going to like actually hold it, and then you'll do the top one after. And you can use one long piece of tape, or you can use, a, you know, one piece of tape for the bottom and one for the top, whatever. Okay, and then you want to come over to the other side and try it as much as you can to get it level. Yep, and you want to yeah. make sure that like, Put more tape on it than you think you need. Like, there you go. over tape it even. Like, go crazy on it. Because once, <laughs> hey, hi, I'm back. Because once you put the balloons on it, it's gonna add a lot of pressure. And so it's gonna wanna move it. Also, sometimes you're gonna have it that after you install it, people wanna move it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and then you're like, oh, great. So you really wanna tape the heck out of it so that it's idiot proof and people proof and child proof and drunk adult proof. Most especially drunk adult proof. Okay, so while he's doing that, we'll move on to our next piece. And that is our top piece, which as you may have guessed, just goes on top. And then we do the exact same thing, just tape the heck out of it. So now, I'm always asked, well, how do you transport it? So that's how I transport it. I transport it in four pieces, and then what I do is I have my balloons packed like this. So these are balloons. I'm gonna show you in just a second how I do this, but this is, I have, I'm using a piece of, uh, a couple of 260s as string, and so then I can just take my balloon garland like this, and then when I get to the venue, just stick it on. So I'm gonna show you how I do that now. Yeah, you wanna? I'll do this one. Darren's gonna continue, um, continue taping and while he does that I'm gonna show you how I make my garland so I take two 260s and I tie them a uh, nozzle to nipple I don't know if I have a reason for doing that or if that's just my habit but that's what I do just like that okay I don't want to use up too much of the balloon here so that's why I don't like just grab them both and like tie it like that because that seems to make these pieces too short and then instead of like separating flat like that then they kind of want to like hang like that 
So for me, I just found that it works better like this. Just a quick refresher for anybody who doesn't remember, this is a duplet. It is two balloons that are tied together, and then we take one duplet and a second duplet, we put them together and twist, and now we have a quad. Now these balloons, I would say, are inflated to about, mm, probably about seven, seven and a half inches. It doesn't matter what size you do for this particular design as long as you're consistent, okay? So if you decide that you're using a five inch, that you're gonna inflate to five inch, then make sure that all your balloons are sized to five inch. If you're gonna use um, t nine inch, whatever. Um, it's just that you wanna be consistent. For this particular one, I wanted a bulkier look. Um, if I wanted a thinner look, a leaner look, then I would have gone with uh, a five inch balloon inflate it to about four and a half inches. But anyways, so I made my quad and now I'm going to take my 260 and I use the nozzle side just because it kind of catches the balloon a little bit better. And I'm, right now I'm just gonna kind of like figure eight it and wrap it around a few times onto the quad, okay? Now, you see I'm like wrapping it up on my hand here and this is why I use two. I don't actually necessarily need two. Um, I just uh, want the tension of being able to wrap it up. Okay. So now I'm going to take the next quad, like this, and I'm just going to lay it right on top, and then I'm going to figure eight it in. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Darren. And the same thing. Yep. Thanks. So we're just going to kind of continue doing this until you get the size you want. I do it this way is because trying to transport this as one big piece is very cumbersome and a pain in the butt. So we do it like this so that we make it a lot easier to transport and then on site we put it together like puzzle pieces. And I think this is probably the biggest question I get about the frames is how do you transport them? So now you know the secret. So don't worry if like you don't get the exact number that you need. Um, as you can see, we've got our garland over there that's too big. And so guess what? I have scissors, I'm gonna cut it. All right, so now we're just gonna put it on. And then basically what we do is we just kinda like separate it and squish it on. Like, there you go, there you go, there you go. And then to secure it, you see I'm gonna twist a couple of the cuts, but then also I've got some, would you hand me one of those 260s there please? All right, so I use 260s for everything. So I'm just gonna cut that in half, maybe even in thirds, and I'm just gonna take it and, now you wanna make sure that you capture the string and so that you're actually tying the string to the pole. And you see, I'm just tying it just like that. So I'm just gonna do that in a couple of places and that's it, you don't have to have every quad twisted on. It's enough to have it tied in two or three places. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. And in fact, Darren, have you ever done this before? I have not. I, he has never done this before. So you know what? We're gonna let him do it and let's ah, see how he does. Cool. All right. Yeah, I'll do the other side, how's that? Another great thing about doing it this way is that when you take it down and you pop all the balloons, they're all gonna cling to that, they're all gonna stay tied to your 260. And so it makes cleanup a breeze. You just like pop it, cut off the couple ends that are tied, gather it all up and toss it away. So what we can do in the corners to hide the mechanics over here, well actually we have this one hanging off here, so that, that's work, that works there. Yeah. In this corner I need to hide the, the mechanics a little bit, so. You could just add in. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll just tie in a duplet and then I'll kind of fake it there. All right, you know what? I'm gonna let you finish it off and I'm gonna get the rest of the pieces. It's a little all bit right. too big. Okay. So I, you know what? We're just gonna see if he figures it out all on his own. <laughs> There's some scissors. Sweet, I'll hold on all to right. this. Cool. Coming through, coming through. Beep, 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 beep. That makes more mess. Now the other thing is we're gonna add other elements to it. So even if there's like little holes or not everything is perfect, it's okay because this is just the background. We're not leaving it like this. All right, so let me come back here. You see, I told you that normally I would probably do this where you'd be like staring at my butt. So hey, so we're just gonna get in here and put that one in. All right. Okay, 
So now we are going to add our fun elements to it. And we got some stars and some astronauts and some ray guns. So let's start with the stars, I think. Let's first add our big elements. All right, and I have here in my pocket, this is why I always have to wear pants. I have here some sticky tabs and I'll share some with you, Darren. Now, here's the trick, right? Because a lot of times we want to prepare it and put the tabs on before we know where it's actually going to connect, but then the balloon isn't actually touching right there. So I um, think right there is about where it touches. Sometimes it's a little bit of trial and error to do this. And you see these particular uh, sticky tabs are, um, like they have little squares and then like you just, you know, put the sticky part on and then peel off. And they work really, really well as long as they're warm when you use them. So, let's see. And I'm sorry, but there's absolutely no way for me to do this backwards and upside down. Okay, so you can just stick them wherever okay. you want. This is totally subjective, just like, hey, I think it'd look good here. Let All me right. have that gold one. I think I'm gonna put that gold one right down there so it'll give balance to okay. our silver one and just like go crazy. All right, so hold on. And we'll just kinda, kinda tether him in. You can use all kinds of different elements. We got astronauts. Let me have one of your ray guns there. Right. We got these awesome ray there guns that go. Darren taught us how to make. If you don't know how to make it, check out my video on how to make a balloon ray gun by Darren Sorry. Okay. This is a very forgiving design, and the main thing is that you know you just want to have fun. Like just just do it up. Okay. So one of the things that I do want to show is that you see here, okay, so these little tiny stars, they do have to be heat sealed, and then we do have the tails tied up because it would look really funny if you had the tail hanging down on it. I think we need something right here, yeah. And I see that we've got this little baby one there. Baby star. Yeah. All right, what else do we have here? We got another big star. Oh, we didn't I don't know, I don't know. Gold one here. Yeah, maybe put a couple of the little baby gold ones. Hey guys! How fun is this, right? So, let me tell you, everybody wants to get in these and take their pictures. They're so much fun. If you want, it's the same number of balloons no matter where you put this bar. So if you wanted it to be like a, a full-size picture frame, you could put this bar down at the bottom. Just leave enough space for the depth of the balloon. Um, and if you wanted it to be a shorter one. So like I said, I normally would not make it this short, except that we're in the studio, so it's easier. Come on in here with me. Oh, okay. Yeah, right here. Come on in. All right, all right. All right. So guys, <laughs> if you like this video, and I sure hope that you do, Make sure that you give me some love. You, uh, <laughs> that's cute. That you put like, click the like button. Leave me a comment. Tell me what else you want to know. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Tell all your friends to subscribe to my channel. Tell them to tell their friends and their dogs and their cousins and uncles to subscribe to the channel. And um, go to Amazon, buy my books. And you know my catchphrase. You want to do it with me? Yeah. All right. Okay. One, two, three. Go, go forth, forth and, and balloonify. balloonify.